If wisdom equals wealth, then poverty equals ignorance. Truly successful people are not successful because they've got it all together. It's they don't quit when others do. Here's number one principle in business. Do your passion. Don't do it for the money. Let the money follow you. You love what you're doing because nothing transfers a business's dimension as passion. So don't, when you're, when you're doing a business, learn to love it. And if you don't love it, find something you love doing and make it your single focus that I'm going to be the best at it. And don't look at what everyone else does and how much money they earn because that can deceive you. Okay? Do your passion, do your heart. Almost get to the point where people are actually paying you for money for stuff that you would almost do free of charge. Good place to be. Number two, in, in, in being this great driver, is the principle, and we all know this is a godly principle, of cause and effect. Cause and effect is what we sow, we will reap. Good, bad, or indifferent. And what we sow and reap is not only important to what we sow and reap to other people, but it's also what happens in here. It's the, the definition of our thinking. And how do I change my thinking to bring it in line with my destiny? Proverbs talks about, as a man thinketh, so he is. So um, I, I think that w what we sow, we reap is really important. Um, and, and, and that is in all relationships with our customers, with our staff, um, and, and with ourselves. Number three in business that we found, great owner, abundance is your natural state. So the first thing I do is I would challenge you, there's always more than enough. Do not work in a spirit of competition. Work in a spirit of collaboration. We have an abundant God in all areas. There is $27 trillion travelling around the world at this particular point in time. Just got to work out how to get more of it. And it's really important to do that. Because sometimes we've got a poverty mindset. You know what the poverty mindset is in business? I've got to be the cheapest. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'll show you how price discounting is like heroin. If you start to discount your prices, you have to work harder and harder to make the same amount of profit. So if you're working 80 hours a week, you've just now started to work 120 hours a week. Number four... In, in getting this great owner, is the power of focus. Now, focus in a business is about setting goals. And I know you've all heard about goal setting. Without any question, there is an enormous power in actually clarifying what you want in advance of getting it to the microeconomic detail. You've got to describe your business in advance of you getting it there. Next principle is seek wisdom. Read the books, listen to the tapes. If you want to get somewhere really quickly, hang around with people who are already there. Don't become alienated from them. Actually embrace them. Because this is where the enemy can attack, and it's called jealousy. Jealousy. And I've seen many, many people who have been jealous of other people's success. And the thing that they need more than anything else is not to be jealous of them, to embrace that success because they might have a key because success leads seeds. Find the seeds. 